and Leo, get a load of this one. <laughs> Google calls this razor, as in sharp and, you know, edge. R-A-I-S-R, <clears throat> an acronym for Rapid and Accurate Image Super Resolution. Um, this is a research paper. Uh, a couple interns at Google in research and a few others teamed up. The abstract of this paper reads, given an image, we wish to produce an image of larger size with significantly more pixels and higher image quality. This is generally known as the sizer, S-I-S-R problem, stands for single image super resolution, meaning you don't get multiple images where you could then infer from multiple images a, a single higher image. You get one low resolution image and you're, you are being asked to bring it to super resolution. The idea is, and get this, is that with sufficient training data, and this is where I was thinking when you talked about we're pretty much, you know, into science fiction and like some other world with AI now, with sufficient training data, meaning corresponding pairs of low and high resolution images, we can learn in the in the training and AI sense of learn a set of filters, in other words, a mapping that when applied to a given image that is not part of the training set will nevertheless, nevertheless produce a higher resolution version of it where the learning is preferably low complexity. In our proposed approach, they write, the runtime is more than one or two orders of magnitude faster than the best competing methods currently available while producing results comparable or better than state of the art. A closely related topic is image sharpening and contrast enhancement. In other words, improving the visual quality of a blurry image by amplifying the underlying details. Our approach additionally includes an extremely efficient way to produce an image that is significantly sharper than the input blurry one. That is, it, so not only could it increase the resolution without in, without without getting blurry, but it could also just like using AI. Essentially, this what they have done is they have trained something in what blurry pictures look like, and it's good enough to remove the blur, to like to, to, to learn what the original sharp picture was. And if it knows that, then it could fix a blurry one or scale it up to whatever size you ask. So it's just, <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, I really am beginning to feel my age when this sort of stuff is like just happening. And so they finally, they conclude saying, we illustrate how this effective sharpening algorithm, in addition to being of independent interest, can be used as a pre-processing step to induce the learning of more effective upscaling filters with built-in sharpening and contrast enhancement. So this is sort of the beginning of this next generation of image processing where, you know, one of the things that always bugs all of us who listen to this podcast is where a cheesy, you know, a, a cheesy movie takes a satellite image of basically a furry blob in the desert, and then someone says, "Well, can you enhance that image?" Oh, yes, sir. And then you know, type types a few buttons and suddenly, and then you see this wonderful things are scanning back and Amazing. forth, and and yes. cubes are zipping around, and things are scaling in, and and it goes. And with each one of those kajinks, it's like getting sharper and sharper and sharper, and magically emerges the license plate so that you can, you know, read from a keyhole satellite at fifty thousand feet. Who knows? Anyway, uh, it's, it's looking like that's not so far fetched because when you think about it, different different original images will have slightly different blurs. 
And you're so so there there are things you're gonna miss. That is, if there was a if there was a a defect in the image that the blur masked, well, the AI would have no way of knowing that. That is, I mean, if the information was really removed, but but you know, there's been a lot of work on on anti-blurring filters. And now what the point is they're going beyond an algorithm to something that is actually a knowledge base which has been trained by looking at blurry and not blurry or, or different size and and learning how to you know go from one of lower quality to higher. And this all, by the way, was couched in various articles that picked up this story talking about how uh, Google might be, and this is like a long way away, of course, but but it was sold as a means of reducing the, the communications bandwidth. That is, you send thumbnails, and this magic brain <laughs> running running in your browser, you know, Chrome Triple Plus, uh, just expands them to the proper size, and it looks just fine. And you know, even if it is my response. Who, Smiley, Snily, what is her name? I forgot. Smiley I, Myers. I, I, no, no, <laughs> Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Miley Cyrus, yes. She was TV's Hannah Montana. Come on, Steve, you must have watched that. Uh, no. no, no, I was busy with Stargate SG-1, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think when, so. when, she was, when she was dancing around or whatever she was doing. <laughs>